Thursday and welcome back to our Thursday live class that we didn't really give you any notice about. We did mention yesterday we might pop on and anyway we were all organised this morning, nothing else to do and we said should we have pop nothing on Nothing else to do. Nothing else to do <laughs> and we said we'll pop on live. So anybody that is joining us, obviously comment below, let us know where you're watching in from, even if you watch this on the replay. And we'd really appreciate another few shares. I forgot to mention yesterday, though I know a lot of you automatically did share the video for us. So what's the plan today? Well, I did say to you, I was getting a delivery of greenery in. So just, I said, I'll go through a little bit of information on the foliage. And I still had loads of the amazing Sweet William left. And a couple of people after yesterday's hat box class asked about a basket. And I said, you know what, sure, you could do the exact same arrangement in a basket. Now, I, had a, I only have time to do one basket, okay? So I was going to take a vote, and then I said, I bet most of you will probably like or prefer this basket here. Now, so this is the one that I've organised to do. But we'll see what the votes are like, you know that way? And if there's enough of you want, I can do that one tomorrow. Do you know that way? So you can let me know um, in the comments if you prefer the bigger basket. Or we call that the white basket and we call that the bigger basket. Caroline is saying, now oh, brilliant, two days in a row. Uh, good morning from Sunny Antrim is Mona. And we're on TikTok today, Jeanette. So we're That's live right. over we're, on TikTok. You know what? We can all make a wish, okay? Yes. Because this is our first time going live on TikTok. Now, Deirdre actually runs the TikTok page. Like, I haven't even got the login for it. She doesn't let me near it. She doesn't. And we have, I don't know, thousands of followers. 70, nearly 70,000 followers. 70,000 followers on TikTok and loads of our videos. So we have Alice has just sent us a hi on TikTok. So hi, hello, Alice. Alice. How are you? You can definitely make a wish now. Do you know that way? <laughs> because you're our first viewer on live TikTok. Now, lots of our videos on TikTok have actually went viral out there. And I know Deirdre's uh, teenager cracks up because she was the one that showed Deirdre how to use TikTok. And she says, oh, God, Mom, you have, look at all the followers you have and all your videos are going viral. So we've been threatening for ages to go live. So big welcome, Alice. As I said, you're our first live viewer on TikTok. And uh, hopefully we go live there again. We're on Instagram and we're also on Facebook as well. Weather here in Dublin is actually, it's a nice enough day today. Not really that sunny, but you know what I mean? The sun is trying to get through the clouds. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's not too cold. It was a little bit chilly this morning. We'd stick the heat on. But you know what? It's warming up a little bit, thank God. So yesterday we talked about bottle brush. Don't even ask me what the real name was. If somebody is watching that was watching yesterday, somebody put the spelling and all and the phonetic way how to spell it. She did. Um, Alice is actually watching in from New Zealand. I wonder if she Hi, named Janice. Alice. How are you? We actually have a student from New Zealand at the moment attending our classes. Janet is her name. Do you know her? <laughs> you can make another wish if you know her. I haven't a clue what part of New Zealand because I know you have the north and the south. So if somebody is watching that was watching yesterday, maybe you might put up the botanical name and the pronunciation. I'm not sure if Sinead is watching. So this is the bottle brush foliage that I was talking about. And this was bought in from a foliage farm in Wicklow. And to make it real easy, it's called Wicklow Foliage Farm. So if somebody might tag them there and um, tag them there so that anybody that wants to go to that page they can go and they can have a look now obviously it's a wholesalers and it's for flower shops or people that are buying greenery in bulk but the thing is if there's anybody watching there that just does flowers for themselves there's nothing to stop you going into your local flower shop and buying a couple of branches of the bottle brush bottle brush is a made-up name by the way because when i looked at the branches i kind of thought to myself and I know he does this nowadays, but do you remember years and years ago when I would have Before babies, dishwashers. Before dishwashers. Calisteman. <laughs> That's, That's the name of it. Fair play to you. And the baby's bottles, you know that way, and when they were all dried milk on the inside, there was a contraption and it was all the bristles of the brush were sticking out sideways and it was called a bottle brush, obviously, for washing the insides of baby's bottles. Well, I always thought, thought, thought that the leaf kind of on this foliage here reminded me of the bottle brush and that's why i call it bottle brush now it's actually coming into flower at the moment so you can just see the top of there it's kind of like a salmony peachy kind of color but that will kind of go a little bit kind of darker as it does more open into flower but it's an amazing foliage and um, i'm going to use some of that today the other foliage that i'm going to use and that's what a bunch looks like by the way that is a bunch 
from the Wicklow Foliage Farm Wholesale. So for anybody that's in a flower shop and wishes to buy from them. Now this is a, another foliage that we also have renamed. We're kind of known here as Case Flare School of the Tink the Air Horticultures. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is called, we call it Silver Sussex. The proper name is Sussex Silver. So they're obviously a bit backwards. We decided to name it the other way, Silver Sussex. Now the bunches are always much, much smaller than say the bottle brush so that's the size of a bunch there now again i'm going to use some of that today it's a lovely one but also it's coming into flare i'll hold it towards the camera i'm not sure if yeah you can we can see, see it. just come down a tiny little bit it's, for youtube yeah perfect it's kind of burgundy whiny little balls at the top of it you know that way so that area there is kind of coming into flare and it's beautiful it is and to mix this to wedding bouquets but flare arrangements hand tied bouquets it's a great and it's a great lasting foliage and the thing is this time of the year and you kind of think oh god in the summer there'll be loads and loads of foliage but to be honest sometimes it can be a disaster for us as foliage as florists because a lot of the foliage is shooting so there's new growth on it so again this would be another bunch of foliage so this is pittosporum now i bet most of you that are out there probably have that growing in your garden now again you can see that's all the new growth see all that light lime green lighter colored green foliage that's all the new growth on it and i know that's not going to last as long even though it's beautiful and it's really flimsy and dainty and you know bouncy and you'd love to use it it's not going to last as long because how i describe it is now remember i'm not a horticulturist but um it has no sap in the foliage there's no body in it you know that and even if you hydrate it and you do all that to it it just doesn't have enough life in it it needs to get a little bit stronger but the bottom part of it is absolutely fine so sometimes what i do is i just cut off some of the new growth and i just use the older branches now you can see that but that's one bunch by the way as well and then bunches are much, much bigger. And when you're buying pittosporum, you can also get like variegated pittosporum or kind of like the blacky, whiny kind of version. But again, some of the growers are not cutting some of the varieties because again, if the new growth is too new on it, you know that way, they know that the flowers will be ringing up complaining and moaning about it. But if anybody watching there has pittosporum grown in their own garden, again, the older one, like not the new parts, you know what I mean? The older part on it is absolutely perfect. Um, I've just got a message coming through from TikTok and TikTok is saying encourage your viewers to share your live and invite more friends so please on TikTok so we only have Alice, have we? oh no we have a few more people no there is more people watching I actually can't see where the numbers are and um, but we seem to be able to get hearts so even send us a heart on TikTok okay. if you're watching so and obviously on Instagram as well anybody watching on TikTok as I just said there at the very beginning because obviously you have just joined us is this is our very 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 oh very somebody first sends time. us a rose oh lovely. <laughs> Fair play to you. I hope it's a fella. Um, this is our very first time going live on TikTok. So we're making a wish and you can make a wish. Alice was the very first person to join us on TikTok. So it's just something that we're going to try and build up. So we'd love, as TikTok said, if you could share the video or even if you could invite other people to join us. Also, the same goes for Facebook and the same goes for Instagram. Just going to get a clock. Amy here. says, wow, those, those are quadruple bunch sizes in the US. So they're bigger in oh, the US. Mostly. Yeah. But you know, Wicklow Foliage Farm, they're they're kind of known, you know, that way. They're a bit like, you know, uh, super size me as they have in America. The bunches of foliage from Wicklow Foliage Farm are normally much, much bigger than when we would buy in the Dutch bunches of foliage, you know, like from Holland, as we buy in with our kind of our flower order. And again, anybody that's in the UK, you would probably have your own local kind of growers that grow foliage. But Irish Green Guys, who are based in Kerry in Ireland, they have a depot in the UK and again you can buy Irish grown foliage over there but again it's quite limited at the moment but go onto their website and again you can set up an account with them and you can see basically what's available. Joanna's watching you and she's in the office so she's Skype and she is and, and Mary that. Deegan Kinsler on Instagram says she's lucky she has both black and the green pits grown in her garden. Yeah the black one is gorgeous kind of a whiny burgundy purple sort of shade uh, I think it's called Tom Thumb. I call it Tom Thumb because I always thought it only came as a miniature. But the the black or the Tom Thumb that we get from Stuart Williams obviously grows huge, you know, that way. So it's Tom Thumb's daddy, I think. So again, <laughs> we're just renaming the foliage. 
Something else just to show you, because again, I got this from Wicklow Foliage Farm, is bunches of birch, okay? So you can get like the birch or you can get like the willow from them, whichever one you prefer. I went for the natural color, but he also has it dyed or painted. So if you wanted this in white for weddings or maybe for Mother's Day, red for Christmas, Valentine's Day, you can get that in all different colors. And that's a bunch and that's very reasonably priced. And I use that kind of in my flare arrangements or I would kind of cut it up or I'd have some tall pieces coming up to hand tied bouquets. Or again, as I said, for wedding displays, it's great. Selena's just finished work and she's sitting in the car watching the live, but she's now tagging Wicklow Falls yeah, Farm. Thanks, we Selena. We were wondering where you were. We were wondering where you are. <laughs> Celine, also, will you send us your timetable so we know when to go live? <laughs> and then something else to show you is, again, that's one bunch, okay? That's a bunch of the pussy willows. Now, the pussies are very slim and sparse on this bunch of pussy willows. Not very pussy looking, you know, that way. But again, the twigs itself are, are beautiful. And even to buy, because obviously you'd want to buy it this time of the year. So if you were to buy that then and just let it dry out, like store it in your shed, your garage, whatever you're going to store it, and then you can use it throughout the year. And you can give the stems kind of a dash of spray if you want to, but I kind of find they naturally go kind of more of a silvery colour. So that's one bunch of your uh, pussy willows, with lacking in the pussies. And again, yesterday, to have cut some of that up and put it through the hat box, it would have been absolutely beautiful. So as I said, that was just to kind of show you a couple of selections. For anybody that didn't join us yesterday, um, yesterday I had a delivery of the Sweet William. And this was from, again, Irish, all Irish today. Irish locally grown farm. It's in County Mead. Now, the country people would say that's local Mead in Dublin. In Dublin, we nearly want our passport and book back and bring a packed lunch with us. But like there, that's the size of a bunch, okay? There's 10 stems in a bunch. Normally, if you're buying it wholesale, the minimum you can buy is 100 stems. So see we have Celine on there. She might she tag is. She's just tagged them, yeah. And the best thing to do, anybody that's in a flower shop, is contact them. Do you know that way? And again, they have certain days they <laughs> order and then they'll um, get it couriered out to you. They're very reasonably priced. It's a great long-lasting flower and it's an absolutely great service. What are you laughing about? Joanne Balfour says, I'm glad I'm in the office by myself. I've just spat out the tea with the pussy <laughs> Well, you see, that's your dirty mind, Joanne, you know that way? I'm just looking at me fluffy duffies, you know that way? And taking me pussies, you know that way? But, like, obviously, it's uh, uh, Stuart Williams' pussies we're talking about, nobody else. Okay, so back to our um, Sweet William. Again, you kind of get the colours, like the purples, the burgundies, the lilacs, you know that way? Again, some of you yesterday said you had it growing in your own garden. And do you know what I forgot to mention to yesterday? I did give you a little bit of information about them. The actual flower on them is an edible flower. Now, the suggestion is you could put into your summer salad. But then I went a few lines further down and I said you could put, you, you could put them into your cocktails. So did you ever get a cocktail? I often have. And just floating flowers on it. Do you know that way? Um, so if anybody is doing cocktails, having a party over the weekend... Give us a ring. Get, give me a ring, yeah. <laughs> and and I'll, I'll, bring the, I'll bring the sweet William right? <gasps> and we can put them floating in the cocktails. So I just thought that was a lovely idea. So obviously wash them well. But um, I presume these are all organically grown. Yeah, they are, they? yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're going to use the Sweet William today and we're going to do a basket arrangement. Now the other thing I did, because I knew I was going to come on this morning, so I just ran out to the garden and I got a bit of a lavender, okay? So this is just lavender that people probably have growing in their own gardens. And mine is quite woody, I probably didn't cut it back enough last year. And again, you might have the other variety, you know the more kind of like normal, I suppose, kind of growing lavender. And again, you could use that. And just between the scents of the Sweet William and the scents of the lavender, I just kind of thought this would be nice. Now, getting our basket organised. So, what I've done into the very end of it is I've this the floral foam is soaked already, okay? So, I just have a wedgie piece and that just went down into the end of it just to kind of give me an extra little bit of height. And then we have like a half a block of foam and that will kind of like wedge down into the basket there. And then I'm going to use some wires. So you can either use 20 gauge wires. I'm trying not to wipe my hands in my jeans because I've white jeans on today. <laughs> but such a bad habit I have of wiping my hands in my own jeans. And um, I'm going to use 20 gauge wires, but you could use 22 gauge wires. And the other thing I need is a roll of gutted tape. Here, I have some here. So this is gutted tape that more than likely you probably use with buttonholes or bridal flowers. But it's a handy little thing to have. And again, we tag AM Floral Sundries there. So she will send you out. This is a, a sundry company. And she will send you out one roll or two rolls of gutted tape 
if you want just a roll of it. Again, Selena will tag them there and you can contact them. But Evergreen Silk Plants up in RD, he also has floral sundries for sale. Now, i just seen up on his website today, he's actually moving over the weekend. New, new showroom new coming. New showroom, new premises. Not really sure. I presume it's still going to be in RD. And I could smell a party coming up. I Because so we'd have of... to have a big official opening. Yeah. I'd say, obviously, we will be invited. We'd have to And be. we'd have to bring all our friends and our yeah. followers and our flurry friends. You know that way? So I think definitely a bus trip needs to be organised. So, Charlie, if you're listening, keep us in mind. We bring um, we bring the sweet William for the cocktails, <laughs> okay? And um, def I could see Paula making a few ham sandwiches I could see us. it, absolutely. Yes, definitely. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get two 20-gauge wires rest them side by side and we're going to go to tape them now i actually have a video on youtube showing people how to go to tape for anybody that's not too sure okay so the idea of the go to tape is to stretch it out to the last joanne okay? says she'll book the flights and flair shed over on instagram says can she come with us absolutely. absolutely like once you follow us here on instagram tiktok and alice on tiktok definitely has to go even from new zealand and <laughs> um, you're a friend you're a flurry friend and definitely there'll be room on that bus for you Celine says she still can't get the, the gutter taping. Oh, right. But she's on module you... one now at the moment. So you have the in-depth video, Celine. Mm -hmm. So practice, practice, practice. That's all it is, is practice. So if your wire, this wire probably is just about long enough. Just need to go across the basket. But the thing is, I will be cutting it tight because I need to hook it in one side of the basket and the opposite side of the basket to be sure it. to be sure to make sure that it's not going to fall out. Just pushing them aside so you yeah. can see it. So to be on the safe side, you're better off like adding an extra little bit of length onto it. So the easiest way to do this is crisscross the two wires and then just twist them together like they were a little bit of barbed wire. Now they're going to be too long now, but it's easy to cut off what I don't need. Now I know some people watching will might say, why did you not just overlap them and go to tape them together to make it longer like I show you on module three, the bridal flower tree. But you'll see in a few minutes, I'm going to be pulling and stretching this and the thing is, if I just overlapped them, I would be afraid, more than likely, they'll come apart. So that's why I actually twisted them. By the way, Deirdre, did um, Linda like the hot box? Oh, she loved it. She did. Absolutely loved oh, it. She was delighted. No, I them. didn't. I dropped it at her door <laughs> and, um, and ran. Yeah, no. And she was delighted. She oh, sent me a lovely message. Thanks, Linda. So what I'm just doing there is just hooking the wire in through the wicker of the basket. You can see the way I'm just kind of twisting it around itself. You see, just to make sure it's nice and secure. And the easiest way to do this is always work on the basket that's away from you. You know the way? Because everybody does it near their belly. It's much, much easier if you do it on the opposite side. So now the wire is going to come across the basket, across the top of the floral fold. And what I'm going to do is going to twist the basket around. This is always how I do it. It's not like I'm doing it this way so it's easier for you to see. This is the easiest way to do it. And again, what I'm going to do is stick the wire, like look through the wicker of the basket where there's a little bit of a gap. You see that I can stick it through. Now this basket is plastic lined, it will hold the water and I'll be able to top it up with more water. But sometimes the plastic is in the way, but I just pierce the wire through the basket to the plastic I meant to say like the water is not going to come up that high now to get this really tight take it up in your chest okay and squeeze the basket in your chest that you're kind of able to pull that wire to see extra tight so I'm just kind of like scrunching the, the basket in against my chest so that when I pull that wire real tight it doesn't actually cut down into the oasis and then the bit of spare wire that's coming through the other side, I'm going to bring it across. I am going to cut a little bit off it, okay? And then what I'm going to do is hook it inside the wire that's already there. You know that way? Just hook it around to be sure, to be sure, to be feckin' well sure. Well, somebody's just over on TikTok, so they must know us because they, just before you said it, commented to be sure, to be sure. <laughs> to be sure, to be sure, to be feckin' well sure. And on just on Facebook, Sharon Housen says, good morning from Jeanette's number one fan, Jay from Leeds. He loves her humour and fast talking for the races <laughs> yeah that was somebody you had in the comments yesterday that's obviously jay must be the husband somebody said her husband said is there any chance of her slow down <laughs> for our talking and i said no because i'm auditioning for rta for the racing horse racing commentary so i have to keep up my speed <laughs> i know i do talk a mile a minute you know that way I, i'll try and slow down for jay but seeing it's been real nice do you want to hear me sexy voice now jay is that what you're looking for <laughs> okay i'm back to me bottle brush so what I want to do is kind of do this a little bit more kind of informal and a little bit kind of wild, you know, that way. 
So a bit seam J's make me feel a little bit wild here. So I'm just going to go around the edges and just let a little bit of the bottle brush, can you see, just flow out over the edge of our basket kind of as we work around. So I'm not kind of keeping it real formal. That one's just a bit too big. So I'm just going to make a kind of substitute for a lighter one. Like not keeping it real formal that all the pieces are exactly the same length. You can see there, some of them are a little bit longer and some of them are a little bit shorter. Now when I'm inserting the foam, I obviously all insert the green me into the foam. I always clean off the green me that's at the end of the stem. But you'll notice when I'm holding the pieces that I hold my hand on top of it. Most people that are beginners dabbling in floristry, dabbling in flower arranging, they're inclined to hold their pieces of foliage like that when they insert them. And what happens is the pieces stick up in the air. I forgot to take my turntable table over there, Deirdre, if you oh, can yeah. pass it over to me. So the pieces of greenery will actually stick up in the air. This is the new turntable I got from AM Florist Studios, okay? And it just suits this table because this workstation is a little bit taller, do you know that way, than say like the lower tables that we normally have here in the school. So on the lower tables, I normally use the metal turntable, which is taller. But if anybody is using their island in the kitchen, because I find if I was often doing something at home, the island in the kitchen is that bit taller, you kind of find these lower turntables are better. So again, contact Anya at AM Floral Studios and she can post one out to you. But back to inserting, by holding your hand on top, do you see the way you get your pieces to kind of like rest on your basket, you know that way? Now again, you can go around real neat and real methodical and one piece barely tipping the other. But as I said, I didn't measure the pieces to start off with, so some of them are going to be a lot longer or a little bit shorter than others. As I said, we're kind of making this a little bit kind of wild and wonderful. Um actually Anya is on Instagram at the moment so if anybody wants Anya is commenting in the comments on Instagram on AM Floral Sundries click into her to follow her and Celine thank you Celine has has tagged her on Facebook we need to get a secretary now over on TikTok yeah, that well, I'd, say Alison, I'd say Alison New Zealand and if you're still watching maybe well, you could be I, our secretary I, I the word Alice now who the fuck is Alice <laughs> I think that also make a great secretary. I think so she would. For any of our newbies over on TikTok, we need secretaries. So when I say tag them, you know what I mean? That you put the at sign and you tag the company and it just makes life easy for me. Otherwise, I'd have to pay somebody. To Alice is it. watching and she's laughing. <laughs> so now I'm just working onto the silver Sussex and you can see I'm kind of doing something similar. Just sticking a knot few pieces in around the outside, just here and there, not necessarily one in between each piece. And sometimes I think when people start off doing flare arranging, you're too methodical and you overthink it too much. And you feel like one silver Sussex, one bottle brush, one silver Sussex, one bottle brush. Or you'll be there measuring everything, making sure everything is the same length. Don't, you know that way. Just be real casual about it and you'll enjoy it more. You know that way. Okay, it may be a more relaxed way of kind of doing flare arranging. But I kind of find with these demonstrations, they're free, they're for fun, do you know that way, they're for a bit of laugh, and especially for people that maybe just enjoy doing flowers, but you're not doing it to make money, and you're using items out of your garden, this is an ideal Jane way. says she's watching and laughing from Letterhead in Surrey, and Siobhan is just asking, she, um, she, it's her first time to join us, she's joined us on Instagram, you can and, make she, a wish, and she can make a wish, but she says, um, with the flower courses, how did they know what flowers to buy? For to do it. You see, you don't have to buy anything unless you're in overseas. So Alice in New Zealand, and you know, she'd have to buy her own flares, but we give you a discount. You see, so one basically counteracts the other. But if you're living in Ireland, Northern Ireland, or the Republic of Ireland, we send out absolutely everything that you need. So the way the online program works is you're signed up to a program and you watch your classes, your theory classes and your practical classes. And everything that I use in the practical class, like we just say I was using this basket, this isn't one of the displays place by the way on the the certificate program but I would have sent you out that basket I would have sent you out that scissors I would have sent you out the knife for cutting the floral foam I would have sent you out the foam the gutter tape the wires everything that I use there you would have been sent it out you know that way and you get we call them sundries and they're all sent out in advance of the course right and then 10 days because people often say why did the flowers not arrive the first day so you have to learn how to do it right so we give you 10 days little head start where you actually listen to your theory classes and you take notes and each day we have a little chat and plus you have a one-to-one -one whatsapp with me must give jamie number yeah right and you can then send me on stuff that you're practicing at home or again get me to have a look at the arrangements you're making you can video it or photograph them and that way i can help support you give you a little bit of critique or feedback but 10 days into the program if you're in ireland or northern ireland we get all the flowers sent out to you so you'll be sent out 
the sweet William. You'll be sent out the roses, whatever I happen to be using in the class video. So it's not like I work in roses and give you daisies. You know that way? You will work with exactly the same stuff because this is all aiming towards a certificate program. So I need to be able to correct, critique everything and then you're able to submit it for certification. The only thing that you need to buy when you're doing our courses is buckets. And like most of the students actually get the buckets of the likes of Lidl or Aldi, Dunn's, Super Value, Sainsbury. Like most of these shops that, um, supermarkets, now this would be, is where they're selling flowers. They nearly always have loads and loads of buckets and they're absolutely delighted to get rid of them. Uh, Joanne says, I can vouch it's easy to get your, uh, to do your own flowers. She's done all the modules and she's in the UK. Celine says Thanks, it's an amazing Celine. course. Thanks guys. Um, yes, so we have to send them a check, will we? <laughs> this is it. A tip don't look directly at the sun, <laughs> <laughs> or don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> Okay, so you can see there, wild and wonderful, our little basket there, just randomly kind of the green we going in. So after I had the piece in the centre, you were watching there while we were talking, we were just inserting the pieces on a slant. Now, obviously, with our online classes, like we're not chatting to you, the public, you know, the way we're not chatting up Jay in our sexy voice. So obviously, everything is relative to the flowers, and we're showing you step by step and explaining it as we go along. But I always say with these free classes, this is just giving you a little taster, you know, that way that you'll get addicted and then you'll want to come and do our class. Uh, Francis says, uh, good morning, ladies. Where would you get the white gutter tape? Um, Anya, have you got the white gutter tape? If you don't, we have it on our website. Yeah. But um, Anya may have it as well. So just... And if Charlie is watching up in Evergreen Silk Plants, he could have it as well. So the white gutter tape is brilliant for flower crowns. We use them on bridal class, like for the floral hoops. And you could have used it there, to be yeah. honest. The only thing is, I would have had a white stripe going across the block of O.A. You know where the wires would have been white, but it's handy to have both of them. So if you're buying, and this is a tip for anyone that's buying the green gutter tape, why don't you at the same time, because the postage will be the same, buy a roll of the white Okay, tape. Anya doesn't have the white one. It is on our website, so Francis, if you want to click onto the website. Um, Glenda, hi, following and watching you from South Africa. Great tutorials. Thanks very much. Thanks, Brilliant. Glenda. I you're welcome. to share it. Because, like, again, we're trying to build up our analytics with Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. So the more countries we can get our videos kind of shared in, kind of the better for us. You know that way? So, again, we'd really appreciate it. And anyone reach. that is watching from TikTok that is new, we have loads of free tutorials over on our YouTube channel. So if you want to um, pop over there. Oh, Evergreen is on. White Tape and Wire will be back once we're settled in the new shop. What's the story on the party, Charlie? Fuck the gutter tape. What's the story on the party? <laughs> uh, Sharon, love you, lady. So funny makes my day uh, that she's going to share it. Thanks, Amelia. Fair play to you. So again, I'm back to, you can see there, I randomly put some sweet William around the outside of the basket. Now some people might say, God, you're going a little bit big, but we started this tutorial by saying, yesterday we did kind of all formal, today is a little bit kind of like wild and wonderful. And now we're going to stand a piece up in the center. Now I always like with baskets not to come up to the handle. Do you know the way? It makes it easier for people to carry it as well. But I just kind of feel it's out of proportion if you come up to the handle or if you come up over the handle, just with this style basket. But again, it's completely up to yourself. Evergreen silk plant says Paula already drank all the wine. <laughs> oh, that's, I'm going to just have to make the summer salad. Okay, we bring our own bills, Charlie. <laughs> BYOB. <laughs> um, that bus, do you remember that bus that we're getting? So what I'm just doing here, like when I was cutting up the foliage, you can see here, I'm just randomly cutting up and like whatever really colour comes to me, that's what I'm cutting. Do you know the way? I probably should be more organised and have the bunches kind of tidier. And just, so, 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 I, I, it flew up by me. Where did we get this ever at the Sweet William, Jeanette. Okay, the Sweet William is from Ballymad Farm. It's in Ireland, County Mead. They're growing it, all Irish grown, all organically grown. And if you contact them, now the minimum if you're buying it wholesale is 100 stems, but it's very reasonably priced. So any shops that are watching, definitely contact them. I could see a few of our followers yesterday that had shops had up that they're all going to have the Sweet William at the weekend. But for anybody then that just would like to buy a bunch of it for themselves, the outside their gate, um, and again, Again, I know Selena's going to tag Bally She has. Her. So if you just click on that tag, it'll bring you to their page and you can message them. And the flare shed has tagged it on Instagram. Fair play to you. Alice still doesn't know what to do over on TikTok. <laughs> She's still learning. Okay, we're training her in. We'll, we'll send you on the course with you, Alice. <laughs> um, but what you can do is outside the farm, they have like 
I, I, at the end, I suppose. And um, there's an honesty box. So you can just come, you just pick up your flowers and you put your money in the box. As somebody said yesterday, you could just take the flowers and just run or drive off. But there is a camera taking photograph of your registration. Number. None of our so students would do that. Our, we're only slagging when we say that. But you can see now what I'm doing is I'm going to go kind of like go around here on an angle, just randomly. Can you see just sticking in the flowers? And just make sure that none of the flowers are tipping other flowers for the moment. It's just kind of spacing them out, you know that way? So it's kind of like looking at the arrangement and focus on, I call it the cop-on spots, you know that way? So to me, looking at the basket in that angle there, that was a cop-on spot. Can you see there's no flare there? Where if I come in here, stick that flare in, it's not tipping any of the other flares and yet it's filling in that cup on area. So as I kind of turn the arrangement around, you should be focusing, and I'm looking at it backwards, but I can nearly see that spot there. That's just the flare on the Silver Sussex. So again, if we come along and we stick a flare in on an angle there, you can see the way it fills in the cup. Now, as I turn it around, you kind of like focus. Can you see down there? It does take a while, you know, that way. And then your eye gets trained. And you say, okay, if I stick something in there, it's not tipping any of the other flares, but yet it's filling in the cop on spot. And then I could step into that area. Remember, I'm looking at it backwards, okay? But again, see the way I'm just sticking that flare in there? It's not tipping another flare, and yet it's filling in the cop on spot. So here on the, in at Case Flare School, um, all our students learn about the cop on spots, and you get to to say the word cop on spot with a Dublin accent. So Alice in New Zealand will be working on that. And all our, I'd say Joanne in the UK already has the Oh, Dublin I'd say accent. she has. Yeah, She's fill in, fill in, fill in fill as in, well. Fill in, fill in, fill in. So when we've kind of filled in our cop on spots, then we're kind of like just turning the arrangement around and wherever your eye is kind of drawn to. And again, you can see some of my flowers are a little bit longer or shorter than others because I didn't want this to be real formal. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more irregular. Do you know that way? Stick out so you can see the way I'm coming outside the imaginary lines, you know that way? So it's a bit like a kid's colouring book, you know the way? So if something comes outside the lines, we don't mind that. We're at kindergarten, I want it to be a little bit, not as formal as the one that I did yesterday. Now if there's anybody joining and they didn't see yesterday's class, you know that way, you can still watch it on Instagram or on Case Blair School, or you can watch it on the Case Facebook page. We weren't on, on Twitter yesterday. No, on TikTok. Or TikTok, <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> But we, we will, you know, eventually we will. So again, I'm just, you can see there, just randomly cutting up the, um, the Sweet William. Now, a little tip with the Sweet William, I'll just get a stem here for you just to show you, is on the stem you have like little nodules or knots. That's a knot, there's another knot, there's another knot, and there's another knot. So try when you're cutting to cut in the middle of the two knots, okay? Don't cut directly under the knot. If you cut directly under the knot, can they see that on the camera? Uh, yeah, put your hand, that's it, yeah. Okay. So that's where I have cut directly under the knot. So the knot is obviously fatter, wider and thicker than the rest of the stem. So if you cut directly below that, first of all, it's actually slower drinking up the water. But the main problem is when that goes into the floral foam, it's going to make a massive big hole, okay, because it's fatter. And then what happens is the stem becomes skinnier. So then the stem is kind of like moving around in the big hole, you know, that sort of way, wiggling around and it's not secure. So make sure with them nodules, because these are part of the carnation family, so carnations are exactly the same. Either cut the nodule off completely, so you're only putting the skinny part of the stem in, or cut in the halfway mark you know, that way between the two nodules. So there's two reasons for it. One is for inserting into the foam, but the other one is also for the flowers drinking up water. They last a lot longer if you don't cut under the nodules or on the nodule. And um, just, I'm just looking on TikTok. We have 1.1 thousand likes. On this video already? Yeah, on TikTok. Oh, Jesus, Alice is doing a great job. Oh, she's doing a great oh, job. Yeah, Alice. Fair play to you. You're doing brilliant. <laughs> Keep sharing them. Um, um, and what I'd ask on TikTok I is... I think I will, I will get Celine to move over to TikTok as well. Um, I think what we'll ask on TikTok, if you would to come back and tell us, would you like to see more of this? Yes. Would you like to? Would you like us to add you to our live streams when we do live classes on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube? So just let us know what you think if you do want to do it. Um, let me see what other questions have we got. Now that will just kind of give you an idea. So far, I've just broken one of the stems there. 
Um, so I've used up about th three bunches, but then the bunches are really, really cheap, you know, that way. So I've used up about three bunches there in our basket, just to kind of give you an idea. And you can see the way I can hold it sideways because of the wire going across the, the top of the floral foam. So now I want to move on to the lavender. So you can buy lavender, but this was just picked out of my own garden this morning and I just basically dropped it in water. And just this, the Sweet William has a fabulous scent to it, you know that way? And the lavender has a fabulous scent. And I just kind of thought the shape of the flower because of the way it's spiky. Now, even if you have, because some people are going to say that doesn't look like your normal lavender, you know that way? It's just, I actually don't know the variety, but I'm sure our secretaries out there will we'll find it for us. Um, it's just a different variety of lavender but you still get that it actually lavender. flowers earlier than the other one because um, i have that in my garden as well and it flowers before the other one that's the more common looking lavender and um, helen james says how long would the sweet william last in the arrangement in the arrangement it'll last a good seven to ten days once you water so do you remember at the beginning the way i said the basket was plastic lined i'll just turn that side around to you there that i put a bit of lavender in and um, so if you just like normally what i would do now when we come off camera is i just top it up with water and pour the water on top of the floral foam okay because naturally what happens is the bottom the top of the foam dries out first because the water obviously you know as it dries it kind of goes downwards so pour your water on top of the floral foam really slow so you're letting the water go into the floral foam and then the surplus water basically fills up the well you know the way there was a little bit of space around the oasis and you know on the end of the basket the plastic container so like let that kind of fill up and you can't over water the arrangements like that's something people always ask us at the beginners classes like how much water or can i over water it they're not plants. You know the way normally when you get a bunch of flowers, you fill up your vase or your container with water and you never think about drowning or overwatering them, but yet you think about a plant. So this is kind of the same. It's like a bunch of flowers, you know that way? So like lash the water on. I always say to the students, keep pouring the water until it starts peeing and sp spilling over the edges and then stop. Then you have enough. But obviously do that on the sink board or outside because you are going to drown the place. <laughs> Helen says, I'm nodding as she's speaking. I think she's just speaking to me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wicklow Gardener said, I say you both have fabulous gardens. You must be <laughs> joking. But Deirdre has. I have a big garden. I wouldn't say yeah. it's a fabulous garden, but I have a big garden. I live right in the city centre, you know, that way. So we have a driveway <laughs> and a raised bed, you know, that way. And uh, no, like, and my husband is in the Tarn Academy and driveway business. So we have a fabulous driveway. <laughs> So <laughs> definitely haven't got a fabulous garden. And um, Maureen wants to know when is module two starting? The the eighth of June. And you know what? You must have been reading our minds because I was only just saying before the live um earlier on. I says I'm going to start getting all them kits ready to go in the post tomorrow. So anybody that has got their name down for the module two, you probably are going to get your kits a little bit early. But with the June bank holiday weekend being the week beforehand. I have a feeling that my husband might bring me away for a few days. What about your husband do? I don't know now. <laughs> so the thing is, like, if we get the kits all out early, then we can go off, sunburn our arses, and come back then to do the module too. So that's the plan of action at the moment. I have to say, isn't this is gorgeous. So it's true. absolutely beautiful. And I know you can't smell it, as TikTok got smell. <laughs> but you know what? The smell of this is just amazing. And what will happen to the lavender is it'll just probably dry out, you know? Yeah. And um, when you're picking a bit for your arrangement, pick a few extra bits and put them under your pillow at night and you'll have sexy dreams, you will. So I heard now. I don't know. Jay told me that. Yeah. <laughs> How's Jay keeping anyway? I don't know. I'm talking slow enough. <laughs> Bridget says she's um, brilliant. She can't wait for module two okay um, and again we've lots of people sending hearts on tiktok so thanks a million for all those hearts and it's obviously you can send lots of things like lots of emojis on tiktok which i'm seeing and um, so thanks a million so really appreciate it we're still TikTok. learning it we're still getting to use it and learn a little bit more about it but instagram and facebook now you don't want tiktok taking over you guys you just want to start sending a few hearts there too <laughs> And share the love. And again, anybody that can click share, like definitely in Ireland, but especially we would love it if you're outside Ireland. Do you know the way? And again, it's just to build up our followers. So what I'm just doing now is again, my eye has just been drawn to little cop on spots and I'm just sticking an extra few kind of like flowers, you know, just kind of here and there. And I just think that is gorgeous, isn't it? It's so gorgeous. there is your real Absolutely, country kind yeah. of like wild kind of garden basket that would be very reasonably priced to make. And again, any of you there that were saying yesterday that you have Sweet William growing in your garden, hopefully your neighbour next door has the 
when they're growing. Now you don't have to make the basket as big, so if you don't have as many flowers as I have, just use a smaller basket or don't come out as wild. Do you remember at the beginning I said I'm purposely kind of making this wild, I'm not kind of making it as formal as normally would. And again, if you knew somebody else sick, wouldn't that be a gorgeous basket to cheer them up? Just before um, we go, Jeanette, um, there's a couple of people who are asking about the free um, conditioning video. You know and I've the, added Sweet William to yeah. this conditioning video. You know video. the best thing to do to get that free video? Um, so basically, we always were putting up top tips, like, you know, top tips how to treat this flare, that flare, this foliage and so on. And then we ended up, we had like a library of about 50 or 60 of them. So we had, a, again, another day last week when we were doing FECO, we said, why don't we put them all together into one video, you know? So basically now it's an online program, but we're giving it to you for free, okay? So the handiest thing, I think if you just put in the comments here now, give us the link. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have that link? Give us a link. Give us a free link. Just say something like that. What I'll do is I'll go back afterwards and I'll put the link then up for you. And all you have to do is click in it set up an account an email address and a password and basically the course is yours it'll cost you absolutely nothing you have access to it for six months and um, Deirdre nearly has it all done alphabetically Near, yeah, nearly, well it's it's okay. done in the first letter alphabetically yeah, okay. <laughs> so the a's are all together they may not yeah. be you know alphabetically in the a's but the a's are definitely all together you'll have it for six months after six months it will kind of like delete itself but you listen you can always just log back in again and for anyone that's watching on instagram it's the link is in the bio so you don't need to because we can't go back to the comments on instagram and the live comments so just go into the bio and the link it says free link there in the bio on TikTok, I'll put the free link in the bio in a little while um, or drop us a PM or a DM and I'll send it to you if I can't see your comments. I'm not sure if I'll see the comments after the live. So if I do, I'll comment and give you the link. Is this our first time doing TikTok? And um, on Facebook, we will add the links and on YouTube, obviously the same. In YouTube, when you go back in, I'll put the link into the description so you'll have it there as well. Now again, yesterday I showed you this as well, that you could add a few dried flowers in and out through the arrangement just because Deirdre was talking. I says, here, I'll do the same kind of here today day and it's just giving me another texture and another shape and that one is not fucking going in it's hitting something there you go and so, celine has posted the link for us is she so just anybody who just can't wait to get the link celine has just posted it there so just click on what celine has put up that bring you straight into the program so as i said an email address your own password and uh, you're straight into it and you have access to it and you can look up all the A's, all the B's, all the C's, all the And we're adding to it. As we said, we added the Sweet William yesterday. We're adding to it all the time. So if you have, have watched it all... And what we're looking for also is a bit of feedback. So maybe if there's a flair that you would love to be added to the programme, do you know that way? Just drop us an email. Let us know, Jeanette, is there any chance of adding such a flair? And again, we'll definitely organise that as well. Yeah. So that's a few dried flares kind of going in and out through. Just to give it's gorgeous. another kind yeah. of like little texture. Not necessary, but it was just because we were chatting there and I says, I better not be standing here scratching my arse doing nothing. So listen, thanks a million for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed the class. Are we coming on tomorrow to do... Does anybody want the other basket done Oh, tomorrow? they didn't say whether they didn't want say. or not. Let yeah, us know so. in the comments if you and do. And if you want to, should we pop on tomorrow um, at 12 o'clock? It'll have to be a quickie tomorrow because I have my gym class at 1 o'clock. Did you see me on Instagram last night? No. My fucking arms are killing me. Oh, your man had me doing mad things yesterday. That is actually still sore. So um, I have a gym class at 1 o'clock tomorrow. So it'll be a bit of a quickie. But anybody wants a quickie at 12 o'clock tomorrow, bring your own pussy with us. <laughs> see you there, Jay. Thanks a million, everybody, for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the class. Don't forget to click share. And if you want the link, if you haven't got it there, just say, give us a link in the comments and we'll send you on the free course. Bye, everyone. Talk to you soon.